Hey guys, it's me. Back with another video. What's going on out there, y'all? Y'all, my table just be sliding. I don't never lock it. I guess I should lock it. And, uh, oh. let me see. Um, let me see. Y'all, hold on. Because it still ain't, it ain't looking right to me. Okay, let's, let's kind of lift it up just a little bit. Y'all, I'm getting better and better. That's getting better and better. Hey, guys, what's going on? I'm having a late dinner, y'all, so I said, what the heck, I may as well record. Say grace, y'all know what we do, and I'm going to get right into it. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the food we eat. Lord, bless those that do not have any. If it be anything in this food to do my body any hurt, harm, or danger, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to protect me and bless those that do not have any. In the name of Jesus, once again, amen, amen, amen. Okay, y'all, this is what's cracking. Today, I got me some boiled corn. I got me some fried shrimp. I got some boiled shrimp. I got some egg rolls. And some potatoes and some coleslaw, y'all. My coleslaw look white. It always look white. I don't know why. Okay, um, I got two sauces. I got a um, a sweet and sour sauce for the egg rolls, and then I got like a it's a spicy um, mayonnaise um, sauce that I got to go with my shrimp. So y'all, let's get it on and popping, baby. So I've been wanting to do this for the longest. I seen uh, T.Y. do this. I ain't got the same bonds he got, but what he did was place the shrimp on there. Add some coleslaw on there. Hello, hello. Y'all yeah, make the homemade coleslaw, and I do that because I don't like um, them big hard pieces that they have. It, and I make my coleslaw with cabbage. Well, I guess everybody do, I guess. But um, I don't like them hard pieces in there, so I always try to take that out. So, y'all, here we go. And it's so bright, you can't hardly see it. Let me see. You can't even see it. There go my shrimp. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ma'am. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. That is good. That is really good. Mmm. I got a new ring light and I didn't realize this suck is bright. Yeah, it's in there. Mm. So yeah, I 
saw too why I make these and I saw it looks so good, but he's eating. I said I need to try it. Mmm. I just feel like something different, y'all. It's good, though. Sometimes it's good to switch up. <clears throat> Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Man, I feel good. Mm. Got some of the fans. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this. I hate that. I'm gonna have to do something about that light though. That's too bright. I normally don't even use use the ring light. I normally just record mostly during the day. It's my shrimp, y'all. So y'all, I was trying to eat a little bit. My day been running kind of late. I had a lot of things to do today. And um, so that's why I'm recording late. I don't like to record late though, I really don't. Hey, you wrong. Sauce, sweet and sour. I'm sitting here in my kitchen listening to the wind. And it's whistling. I love the wind sound. I love the wind sound. I just seem to relax you. The rain sound, I turn the the, um, the rain sound and stuff on at night when I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And when I say out of there. Any of y'all ever tried the ambient sounds? Try them. You just want to relax. Got my potato.
Yeah, the ambient sound is really nice. I learned about it when I was in the hospital. They put the station on so you can relax. And it worked. And I've been doing it ever since. Y'all, I want to tell y'all about the story about these people, this family. It was two sisters, the mama and the daddy. The oldest sister was about maybe 12, 11, 12, something like that. She was about 11, 12. Anyway, they um, moved to this new house, and for some reason or another, she seemed to thought that they played favoritism, which parents, we can do that sometime and not be aware of it, but playing favoritism between her and her sister. Every time the big sister wanted, the bigger sister wanted to go, the little sister had to go with her. If they had cookies or whatever, she felt like she didn't, it's one cookie, I shouldn't have to break my cookie and give my sister, but it's called sharing. Anyway, time went on and on, and they just, was just at odds. The two sisters were just at, well, the bigger sister was at odds with the little sister, because the little sister had to be like uh, four or five. She ain't had a clue really what was going on. She didn't know why her sister was treating her like that. She just know that she loved her sister and she wanted to be around her. So one day, they all sitting at the dinner table, the little sister sick. So the mama gonna fix her a tray and take it upstairs to the bedroom. So she could eat, try to eat something. Get up there, she couldn't eat it. She was just sick. So the mama tell the older sister to sit with her till she go and get her some juice or something to drink. She'd be right back. So the sister sit on the side of the bed and whatever, and she'd say to the little sister, shh, remember our secret. And the little sister just shook her head because she was too weak to talk. She just shook her head. So the mama wound up coming back in there or whatever, and she said, what you girls talking about? And the big sister was like nothing. You know, I was just... You know, reading to her, uh, singing to her, basically what she said. She was singing to her. So um, the mom got her up, changed her bed, got her all, you know, had the sister help her change her bed. And the sister was just being rough with her, though. So she got her back in bed and everything. And um, they all while going downstairs. The six sister still in the bed. The little, littlest one still in the bed. So the rest of them go downstairs and they watch a TV or whatever. All of a sudden, a bigger sister get up, like she going upstairs to check on the girl. But when she went in there, her and the girl was talking and she pushed the door up. And you couldn't hear nothing but um, the girl just whimpering, whimpering, crying. Because she, you know, they don't let you see why she crying. They just let you see the sister close the door and she whimpering. It took her so long to come back out. The mama wind up going up there to check on them or whatever. She like, what are you doing? She was like, nothing, nothing. She threw, jumped, throw her hand behind her back. Nothing, I wasn't doing nothing. So the mama reached behind her and grabbed her hand. And in her hand, she had this, it's like a little bitty toy syringe that, you know, the kids get in their little doctor cases and stuff. It's one of them. 
the little toy thing. She pushing stuff in the little girl mouth. At this time, they don't show you what it is. She pushes stuff in the little girl mouth. So the mama go back down. Says she make the sister go out the room. So the mama go back downstairs and she tell the daddy. She said something ain't right with this. She said something is going on. She said whenever she go up there, she pushing up. She pushing the door closed. When I come in there, she jumping like um. Ooh, I don't want that one. She jumping like something is wrong. She said I don't know. Something is just not right. So they put cameras in the room. They put cameras in the room. And late at night, because she, she knew they had the cameras in the room. But look here, sometimes they smart, sometimes they so smart that they ain't smart. So they had the cameras in the room. The mom and daddy done got ready for bed. They done got the little girl, gave her a bath and got her ready for bed. And tried to get her to eat some soup. She just, every day, just worse and worse. She can't eat nothing. I didn't understand why they didn't take her to the doctor from the beginning. I didn't understand that. But anyway, they finally wind up taking her after like maybe eight, nine, ten months go by. They finally take this baby to the to a doctor. I didn't get it. But anyway, they took her to the doctor. They did tests and all of that. And um, they asked her, asked the mama, had the little girl been complaining of headaches? Or, and she said she complained every day that her head hurt. She's getting weaker and weaker every day. We can't get her to eat nothing, no soup, no brush. She won't eat nothing. So when they came back with the test, um, they had the, um, they called the mom and the doctor in the, in the office to talk to the doctor. They had the little girl sitting out in the lobby. And the doctor told them she's been inhaling. She's been inhaling uh, uh, Drano. And they're like, Drano, what's she getting drunk? She can't even get out the bed. So the mama started putting it all together. She knew something wasn't right. They started rolling back the cameras, checking the cameras. Then caught the girl going in there two or three times. They don't see what she's doing because she got her back. So the camera is blocking, but she in there the same time every night she going in her sister in the sister in the room with her little sister at. She was in there giving that baby drain on. Mad because she felt like the baby was taking all the attention and stuff from her with the parents. Cause she always needed something. She all she's small. She need more than the bigger sister. And this heifer was in there. Injecting that baby. Well, pushing it in her mouth. Yeah, I stuck it out this little toy syringe. So one night the mama sit up in the room. The little girl didn't know she was in there. The mama was in the room sitting in the chair. The little girl, same time every night, here she come. Take the little syringe out of her pocket. Look around. Turn her back to the camera. It's okay, nobody see what she's doing. Turn her back to the camera. And when she went to put it in the mouth, the mama said, what are you doing? Scared the living hell out of her. She jumped and dropped the thing on the floor. She said, is this what you've been doing? Is this what you've been, you've been giving your sister this Drano? And she couldn't lie because the Drano was all over her hand. And the mama called her cold-blooded. Caught her red-handed, I'm sorry. Caught her red-handed. So she go and talk to the daddy because now they got to figure out what to do about this. Nobody wants to turn that child in, but she was killing that little girl. She was killing her. So the daddy said, well, we need to at least get her some help. You know us ladies. He said, she needs to be helped. Nobody in their right mind would do this. She's a child and she's doing this. So they take her to the little thing and admit her. The daddy had her admitted, committed, admitted. He had a he had a lockdown. So the psychiatrist hypnotized her. I'm taking shortcuts here, y'all. The psychiatrist hypnotized her, and she tell him everything he asked her. She said she had been doing it for a year and a half. 
She said she thought it was never going to work because her little sister was so strong. And she never showed no signs when she first started doing it. So she started giving her more because she thought it wasn't working. Was killing that girl. So they put that, they put her away to get her some help, which I thought was a good thing. I don't know how much help she needed, but you killing somebody. You was a child. You 11, 12, and you killing somebody. Something, and your sibling at that. That yeah, something really wrong with that picture. Okay, y'all. Well, I didn't eat a whole lot, y'all, because it's late at night. Y'all know I'm trying to watch my weight and all of that. But um, uh, I'll start making sure that I do my videos earlier in the daytime to where um, I won't have all this light and you can see my food better. I'm really kind of disappointed, but I'm happy because I was able to eat and talk with y'all. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So I need for y'all to like share and subscribe this video please get me to watch hours y'all y'all watch the videos subscribe to the videos y'all come on help a sister out i finally reached um a hundred subscribers y'all i don't know about y'all but i was proud of myself hey i got a hundred subscribers and i know god gonna send more so i ain't even worried about it so y'all at at this time i like to say what I always tell y'all, if you don't have something good to say to somebody, something kind, something that'll make a person's day, something that'll keep a person uplifted, then y'all don't say nothing at all. You see all these people killing one another and just, man, people killing you nowadays for just looking at them. They're killing you nowadays for just looking at them. So y'all just be safe out there to all my ocean beauties, my followers, all my subscribers. I, I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for having a sister's back. For the, those of y'all that's new watching the channel, come on and join us. Let's make this grow. Okay? So like I said, I enjoy talking. I always enjoy talking to y'all. Sometimes I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Sometimes I just want to know that y'all face in the place. That's all I want to know. So if you ain't got something good to say to somebody out there, remember, keep your opinions to your damn self.